It's been said that Thales of Miletus, a Greek philosopher, said the most difficult thing to do in life is know thyself. <clears throat> now, if that is true, why do I think the second hardest thing to do is solve a codility exercise? Every single time I look at a title, I want to tuck tail and run and jump out the window. <gasps> But once I actually read what's required to solve it, I go, oh, that's not too bad. So take heart. I have some good news for you. Codility, Codility. is not asking us to write a program that will generate the most hack resistant longest mm. password ever. What it is asking us to do is to look at a predetermined string of four passwords that are already in there. We just have to determine which one of those passwords is the longest word, and it has to be alphanumeric. See, it's not that bad. So here's what it states. String us can be divided into words by splitting them. So that's the hint right there. Once we have the string of those words, we know that we have to split that string up at the spaces. And once we find which word is the valid password, it wants you to return the number of characters that are in the password. So for this example, the return answer should be seven. Now, would you believe that you can actually solve this exercise, 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 with just a single line of code. Now, of course, we're not going to do that here because I feel like it would be a little bit more advantageous to kind of break it down a little bit and go line by line for how to write a program for this. Now, have I submitted it into Codility to see if it's going to work? No, we're going to do that together. They say that it's not going to be checked for correctness, just efficiency. If I remember correctly on what it said, I don't have it in front of me. So you're just going to have to trust me on that. For the solution that we're going to go over today, I decided that it would probably be best and easiest to explain if we imported regex into this program and using the match function. Now, if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's get into our program and start coding. So we're going to import the regex function and then we're going to define our solution s and we already know that we need to split our string up by the spaces. So we're just going to turn those into, uh, let's see, words equals s dot split parentheses. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create a list, an empty list at the moment to store our counts in. So valid, we'll just name it valid passwords and then we'll put in our brackets. Now what we need to do next is iterate through um, our split string, which is now our words. Uh, we're going to do this character by character. So for word in words, what we need to do is match each character and see if it is either alpha or numeric. So if read.match our apostrophe with the caret, if it um, needs to match a the lowercase a through z, and then a capital a through z, and then our 0 dash 9, and then asterisk dollar sign because we don't want anything else but that. Um, word and the length of the word modulo 2 equals 0 and then our we have to make our count so let's go num count equals the sum of let's see let's see sum is digit let's see is for c uh, in a word, C will be each character, and then we need to determine uh, if it's just a number, like we have for the example number five. If it's just a number, we can still count it. So if num the count modulo two equals one, then we're just going to add it to our list valid. And the length of the word. And that's it. We just need to return the biggest number by using max valid 
passwords if if valid password and then else negative negative one if there is nothing that matches the criteria it tells us to return negative one so that's it that's our program if i run it in pycharm right now run it gives us the answer that we want but i've learned from past experience that that doesn't always guarantee that we're going to pass the the codility exercise so come on over to codility with me and let's do this together and see what kind of score we're going to get so what i'm doing right now is i'm going to implement this on my ipad right here and i'm going to screen record and then i'm going to put it up next to me so we can watch my reaction in real time so here we go all i have to do is just paste it in here I copied over my code. Let me see if I can paste this. Come on, where's the paste button? There she is. Okay, let me move this out. I gotta back this up. I gotta move out the import to the top here. Go down. I don't know if it's gonna let me do this. We're gonna find out together. Go down, keyboard. Oh, we're going to run the code. Running solution. Successful. Wrong answer. Oh, no, you did not. Mm, okay, fine. Okay, fine. Let me just put back what I took out. Which is, let me see if I can find it on here. Modulo 2 equals wants to be funny with me. Let's try it again. Run code. Ah! Okay, it's still wrong. What happened? Where, where did I go wrong? Let me read it. Let me read it. Many unbearable hours later. I don't understand. It works. It works. Okay. We're going to have to redo this. Okay. It's been like 20 seconds later. I think I figured out what my problem is. So I'm going to turn the screen record back on and we're going to do this together. Three, two, one. Okay. I remembered. I needed to take this portion of the program out that was wrong. Hang on. It's the and len word. Uh, let's see. And the tenth line that you're seeing here. Okay. Here we go. That's what was wrong. Run code. Yes! It's correct. I knew it. Okay, I figured it out. I figured it out. That was that needed to come out. Um, okay. Note that the example tests are not part of your score. Are we ready to submit our task? I guess. Let's do it. Here we go. Submit task. Are you sure you're ready? I'm ready. We're verifying your solution. It may take a while. Is, but it's scary. <gasps> 30%. It passed. Okay, it passed. What's the problem? Oh. Uh, wait a minute. It didn't it's didn't it say on here? Oh, the focus was on correctness. Uh oh. Past example, but you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm like, what do you call it? An overachiever. I need to get 100% on this. So pff, we're going back to the drawing board, people. I'm going to get 100%. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I hope you had a great time. I know that I did. If you would like to watch the journey on getting 100% score on this Codility exercise, 
come on over and join me on my Patreon page and join my community there for a low monthly subscription rate of just a cup of coffee. Over there, we'll go through how to score 100% on this exercise. And I know you're not going to want to miss it. So link is below. I'll see you over there. And thanks again for watching.